Yo, what's up, Chaos TV family? What's up, Chaos TV Network? It's your Chaos Leader here, Chaos Hero. Back to the map where we always chilling at. Sorry, the theme of the video is going to be um, Pokemon theme. So, sorry for the Pokemon, I mean, uh, Digimon theme. My apologies. Uh, I will be getting a Digimon map officially soon. Again, because my old one kind of got dirty and I need to figure out how to clean it. It is a Terriermon uh, mat, and I need to clean it without actually shrinking the plastic materials off of it. I looked at every video in form, but it doesn't really explain much, but outside of uh, hanging up a rack. Anyways, I'm going to be doing deck profile on the Vortex uh, Warrior structure deck of Pteramon, which is in this deck box. It's a very, very niche, fast-paced, uh, standard, run-of-the-mill green deck with a lot of abilities as far as stacking, um, a lot of abilities as far as resting. Um, I built this deck specifically off the concept of literally stalling out my opponent, slowing them down by resting some of their units, and uh, getting the upper hand on them. I did, uh, if you've actually seen the um, uh, top-down throwdown on Yafuna Gaming, the link of the channel will be in the description down below. Uh, and it will basically show you what happened. Uh, the first round, I took it easy clean clean sweep and then the other two rounds i just got dog walked and yeah the last well actually the mid round i got dog walked last round was kind of neck and neck i tried my best but i guess i burnt out my resources and i may have misplayed but leave down in the comment section if i have but let's get into the deck profile and see what's inside here So you know how we do on the Chaos TV family channel, and this is going to be actually the first deck profile I do on this channel for Digimon. But we're going to start off with level zero, level twos onward, and how many we're running. So you are, of course, know the rules if you know. Uh, we're running three, I mean four copies of Fluffymon in the Digitama deck. It's standard. It gives an inheritable ability where I can suspend uh, one other Digimon. Uh, uh, with as much or less DP than the Digimon that's currently that's there. And basically what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to, this effect, this inheritable effect, is supposed to trigger off uh, Mochimon um, and give uh, Mochimon its ability to do what it needs to do. But yeah, we run four copies of, uh, of Fluffymon. You can also get the uh, original Fluffy Mons from the Liberator Structured, I mean, uh, Booster Set, which I hopefully I can find a booster set somewhere so I can do an unboxing on this channel for it. Uh, me and Yafano will probably be doing that. Uh, going into level threes, of course, we're running the main theme Digimon of the archetype in this deck. We're running three copies of Pteramon. Uh, and if you can see that, I hope you guys can. Sorry about the lighting, but yeah, we're running three copies of the standard structure deck Pteramon. Uh, it has an on-play effect where basically, essentially, it acts as uh, it has an on-play effect where you look at the top to reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon with Bird, Avian, uh, and its traits, and one card with Liberator in its uh, in its traits, and add it to the hand. Specifically, it's supposed to add your Galemon or Grand Gailmon if you have either or in hand, or just try to, or get your uh, Zephogamon. And then it also allows you to add your Shoto uh, Kaz uh, Kazuma to your hand. But yeah, we're running four of, of the big guy himself, the main boy of the deck. Uh, I'm sorry, this is getting really obnoxious. I'm sorry, I have to change the camera angle here. as far as anything else is concerned. Oh, sorry. There we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Trying to get everything right. And sorry if I sound stuffy. Um, it is around that time of year where the seasons start to change. Uh, for uh, other, for the other uh, level threes we run, Three of Falcomon. Uh, I don't have it for inheritability effects. I just have it for just the um, uh, the when attacking effect. It actually does really kind of draw aggro on the field. 
then like I said, three of Mochimon to get the balance of it because you don't want to run into too many Falcomons and you don't want to run into too many Mochimon. So I just even them both out to three. That brings a decent synergy to the level threes. That way I can get you up properly. For the level fours, we're running four copies of uh, uh, Galemon. Uh, Gilmon has a security effect kind of like a uh, Dragomon, I think it's Tromon, where it, if it's hitting the security, I can play one green card with cost four or less, and it has to have Liberator in its trait. That's including the Tamer. I can literally play Shoto from hand without paying, uh, paying its play cost. Then on top of that, with its four dex ability, which is the whole theme of the deck, I get to attack if I go over the... Uh, the uh, memory gap that uh, transitions over to my opponent's turn, which is also a good, uh, good thing, which gives this card, which gives this deck, which gives this deck a lot of stamina and momentum that normal decks would actually burn out of. So I, I consider this deck a, uh, a stamina based deck. Uh, three copies of Coca, Coca, uh, Cocat, uh, Cocatarimon um, in here because, well, of course, it's a level four two cost evolution for cost blocker which you don't see as much as often as you did when you first played when you when the game first came out but having this car with blocker is really 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 good um, especially as a level four and for the other level of the last of the level fours we play three of kiwimon because as it's it's on play effect and it's on deletion effect is the same thing I can play him naturally out of my hand. He's a three coster or two cost evolution, and I get to suspend one of my opponent's uh, Digimon if it gets the lead. Like let's say I go for the security check just to be risky for the biscuit and uh, get deleted on deletion. Bam, its effect hits again. Suspend another one, thus frees up my opponent's field and probably eliminates any blockers that my opponent may or may not have. So basically that's what we're running with level fours. For level fives, we're running four copies of Grand Galemon, as per usual. We got to because it's the entire Pateramon line. You go, it's the whole theme of the deck. It has a great on play effect, and along with DJ Evolution, I basically can target, uh, basically suspend one, uh, one Digimon. If it, this Digimon suspends my, if this Digimon's effect suspends one of my Digimon, for example, my uh, Mochimon it triggers off its effect, or if I don't have Mochimon on the field, I can uh, just suspend one of my opponent's uh, Digimon, which frees up a lot of stuff to where I can freely swing wide if I want to. Uh, also, for three ofs, we're running three level five Parrotmon. Um, I also have it for its on uh, play effect, where it suspends one of uh, my own Digimon, uh, of one of my opponent's Digimon, let's be more specific, my bad. And it does basically the same thing that Grand Galemon does, but it specifically targets my opponent. And it has another extended effect where it says, uh, then one of my, uh, then one of, yeah, I just suspend one of my Digimon and then spend one of, hold on, how is that word? My apologies, y'all. Uh, on play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then uh, one of your Digimon cannot, uh, then, one of your Digimon cannot unsuspend until one of their, okay, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so basically it's supposed to go in tandem with Grand Galemon. Uh, and if I play him right behind it, let's say if I have another Digimon up there, I just want to Digivolve over to, uh, to Parrotmon, because let's be real here, I'm not paying for that seven, but if I do, I have to. Um, it basically suspends the other one, and the one that got suspended before it cannot suspend until the next turn, which does lock down, let's say, your opponent's boss monsters as well. Then, uh, sorry about that. Uh, we add three of uh, Dorimon. Dorimon is just another standard level five blocker, but since we're already running basically three of Kokokatu, uh, Kokoterimon, uh, Kokoterimon, we just wanted to run the extra blockers just to have some extra beef defense on the field. Sorry if y'all can't see it. Uh, and also on deletion, it has some extra effects as follow. 
you may play one Digimon card with avian bird, vegetation, or plant in any of its traits uh, and th that has 3,000 DP or less from your hand uh, without paying its cost. So it basically turbos out all the weaker ones like Falcomon, Mochimon, and also, of course, Pateramon. But that's it for the level fives. And now we're going to go to level six. The level six pile is kind of skeet, but we try to work with it. But you already know we're going to run our big boy, the the OG of the old uh, of the old sky himself, the magic warrior himself, Safagamon. Safagamon is literally the whole pinnacle of this deck. The fact that he is unaffected by the way his combo is set up, he becomes unaffected by our opponent's Digimon's effect is very unique. Its vortex effect allows you to attack during your opponent's turn. The only problem I do have as far as rulings are concerned, and if anyone in the comment section can leave down below that's actually been to an official Yu-Gi-Oh, I mean, not, not, uh, Digimon tournament, or can link me to a forum to where I can talk to someone that has either judged or read the rulings on Digimon, can Safagamon's uh, ability carry over with Vortex? What I mean by that is if I were to just just play the three and it kind of pushes me over from zero to one, two, and it's already my opponent's turn, will the effect of me being unaffected by my opponent's Digimon effect carry over to my opponent's turn? Because technically it's me going to the end of my turn with Vortex and me swinging. If not, then that's that's either way. Um, if it is, that's pretty broken for Sephagamon. If not, that's actually pretty balanced nonetheless. And it's one of the reasons why I do love Bandai and Digimon for what they're doing with this trading card game. It's so freaking, it's, it's so freaking amazing. Uh, four of, of Eaglemon, um, to be honest with you, Eaglemon has a decent ability per se. Uh, it can return one of uh, my opponent's uh, suspended Digimon to the hand which actually gets rid of a lot of problematic cards, especially Digimon that uh, stack up stuff like Ragnar Lodemon. Uh, if you don't get that inheritable ability where he's just straight up unaffected by Digimon card effects, if you see your opponent playing something like Ragnar Lodemon, you can easily just play him on play, bam, or uh, on Digi-Evolution and be like, yeah, send Ragnar Lodemon back to your hand, and then all the inheritables just go right into the, uh, to the trash pile which would actually perfectly help. But other than that, it's it, it's good, but you, there's a decent amount of green uh, avian bird uh, Digimon in previous sets, as well as current upcoming sets, including uh, Liberators included, that have a lot more utility than Eaglemon. Uh, it's uh, Fortitude ability is pretty good, but it's not, it, it's, to me, I don't know what it is, but the Fortitude ability, is situation it's extremely situational situational in my opinion and it's not reliable it really isn't um i know a lot of people have different experiences if you have different experiences with the fortitude ability let me know in the comments below because i just don't see no point in it it's useful but like half the time i pull or draw into digimon with this fortitude ability i don't have the other copy of it what fortitude basically does is on deletion of this Digimon, as soon as it's deleted, I can play the same copy of that Digimon with the same name without paying its Digivolution cost onto the field. That's all it does. It's cool, it's good, and I know the reason why they're doing it specifically with Eaglemon, but I've rarely gotten gone into that combo. I rarely have gone into that combo. But that's it for the level fours. And moving on to... The Tamers, um, normally people run four of Tamers, but I feel like Shoto uh, Kazuma is not a four of. He is simply a three of. You do not need no more than just three copies of him. You don't want to run into him a lot because you need him in the deck. Um, he, I'm, I'm kind of still in a huge debate after that last match uh, that we did on Top Down Throwdown for this channel and hit and the Gaming's channel about putting him up to four. I 
don't think I should, but I feel like I should. But it's kind of conflicting because I normally run Tamers at three, I mean at four, in every deck I've played, or at two. Um, the only deck I remember ever running Tamers at four was when I played the blue uh, Matt Ishida and the purple Matt Ishida. Uh, because he is severely needed in both those decks at full. Shoto, he is needed, but you don't want to run into him. But playing him at three, it seems like a balanced uh, 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 formula for just him. And it just seems pretty fitting for him. So, like I said, play him at three. I might change it around and play him at four. I don't know. Uh, playing at two for options, because you're only going to need two of these. It's a cost five, and it's another thing I love about this, because they literally thought themselves through, and this is what I love about Bandai, they didn't make the structure deck too broken, and because if this thing was cost four instead of five, I could have easily played it with uh, Grand Gale Mon's security effect, where it allows me to play a uh, cost four green card with Liberator. And if you can see it, it has Liberator in the card tree, like right the freak there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna try to focus in on it real quick. Uh, just try to focus in. Yeah, it's difficult to focus in. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, but it has Liberator right there. So you can play it, but I played it too because I don't want to run into it a lot. Um, it's security effect is just as good as its main effect if you play it right off of hand, but you don't need no more than two because you're going to be running three copies of Agility Boost. Agility Boost is the new staple. Now, the fun fact about these Agility Boosts, I got this one from the Shoe Mon Structure deck, and these two came from the Patera Mon Structure deck, but they're the same card but different alt arts. I do have the spare copy as a side deck option, but long story short, this is going to be, a, like, I love Digimon because they premiere staple cards in some in some of the structure decks that you may or may not need that might be staples in either casuals or metas, uh, or meta tier formats, which is the one thing I love about this card game. Um, when they did the All Force of Ichimon and the Galmon structure decks, they added the memory boost cards of each individual color. With this set, they actually added and give us each individual color for each of the uh, uh, each of the individual trainings. Um, and I play it at three because I don't want to run to it, but I do need it when I can, and it is useful. I'm thinking about taking down one of these, uh, uh, one of uh, the uh, uh, the embrace cards down to one. Uh, probably, or one of the Digimon, or I think my level threes, level fours, down, uh, knock them down a couple of numbers, just to add a fourth copy of this, because it does good, and it goes very well with the next card that's coming up, which we play one, not one, not two, not three, but four copies of the new alt art memory boost. This one's a full art, but it's not hollow, but if you want to replace them with the hollow foils of the Yule Force Vidra Mon Structure Deck or Gallant Mon Structure Deck uh, Green Energy Boosts. By all means, you're free to. It's not going to really hurt the deck outside of flavor and, like, you know, authenticity. But yeah, running four of these is good. I'm probably just going to knock it down to three uh, just to make this balanced and just add either another Embrace or another uh, Shoto, which I think I might add another Shoto over one of the memory boosts because this goes hand in hand with memory boost. I can buff my uh, memory gauge as well as re decrease the play cost of uh, of any green Digimon I want to play. But for right now, this is what the deck looks like as a whole. Um, so like I said, I run four of the green memory boost and three of the agility training because that seems like the proper ratio, in my opinion. If you have your different ratios and deck profiles, I would love to know how y'all deck builds are with the uh, Patera Mon structure deck. I really, really, really would. Um, but yeah, that's it for the deck profile and basically how the deck works. It does a lot of stacking 
um, stalling, just making a small inter inter it just like the deck goes interference and then just blitzes your opponent very hard, and it it, it, it works. It, it just it works. Now I will say this: if you play it wrong, or depending on if you do what I did with my build, it kind of burned through my resources and what I could do as far as offense capability. Like first first match. I, I, I went hard, I ended strong, I started off strong, ended strong, and then just the last two rounds, it was just really confusing and hectic and crazy. Uh, not just only that, it was just kind of confusing on how the combos work and everything. Uh, but the main character really makes the deck work, and it works just like it does in the manga. Speaking of digital manga, when you get the structure deck, you get the QR code to go check out the digital manga itself. I hope... I really do hope they come out with a physical release of the manga because I really want to actually collect the physical hardback or softback book series of this Digimon series. It'll actually be the first, if Bandai ever does it, to actually, like, the first ever, like, you know, comic I will ever, ever collect from Digimon's Rogue Gallery. But, yeah, that's it, basically, for the deck profile and everything. Well, that's it for my deck profile for the Proteramon Green Structure Deck, or as I call, bl uh, Blistering Winds Structure Deck. Uh, Blistering Vortex Wind Structure Deck. I hope you guys like it. It's really a fun structure deck. It's amazing. It's very fast-paced. Um, I do look forward to the deck profile, the official deck profile uh, from y on Yafina's channel. He actually did a deck profile of his, but he didn't really explain anything. He just kind of sprawled the cards out, and let y'all see what's in it. But like I said, it's his way he likes to do deck profiles. I do the way of mine, but that's a beautiful point of Chaos TV family. We're all ourselves and we can all love each other. As far as me, um, like I said in the last video that I put in the Chaos TV update, if y'all want me to put down in the comment section, if y'all want me to do a sort of review so far of what I think of Digimon Liberators as the manga, as the series, as a story as a whole, uh, uh, put in the comment section, because I want to get where y'all, if y'all actually like Digimon, I want to know what y'all think of Digimon Liberators as the digital comic series. Like I said, I really hope they do release it physical to where I can get like an actual physical uh, manga book for it, because I want to add it to my collection, because this is going to be, this would probably be the first time that I collect a uh, physical Digimon manga and I, I would love it it's a great written series, it's really fun it's really cool and I recommend it uh, but like I said this is the first deck profile I've done on the channel for Digimon hopefully this video gets enough likes subscribe and don't be shy to ask for more top down throwdowns involving Digimon uh, and deck profiles involving it uh, whatever I can ask I can probably do and I can probably scrounge up but like I said this is Chaos uh, Hero and I'm going to go back out into the chaos just to see what's out there that's awesome for you. Stay cool, be kind to each other, and take care of each other. Peace.